Hello and welcome to the Wicket Train Podcast for episode three. I'm here today, joined by one of the member, Amos Thompson. How are you going? Good mate, how are you going? Pretty good, pretty good. And yes, actually, it's a short start for today, but we'll make it work. Mm-hmm. We'll get on to the games in the weekend. Uh, heads up, Force had a bye, so there'll be no Force action this week. But we'll start with the 13s. Marshall May 3 for 91, beating Thompson 5 for 89. Highlights from our game was Josh Jasper Hovey making a twenty, and Morda. I'm not gonna push that name. Making fourteen from Groby. Good job. And our bowling, we had Harry we go, so Josh Brady picking up one, Maverick Evans picking up two, and Jasper picking up one. And we end up winning comfortably in the end. And now for the 15s game. We had to have the ball in the 15s. We constricted a little bit of a and lava to 99, which is pretty good effort again from our boys. Wickets went to Caleb, Sadie F. Balby, A. Chapman, took most of the wickets, and we end up winning with 20 overs left in the day. So. Convincing win for the lads, and good start to the season. So, in the 17s, we bowled this week, we are defending 129. Um, Liam Smith bowling really well with 4 for 14 off 10 with the 3 maidens. Lachlan Piggy Lowndes 2 for 13 off 10 with 4 maidens. Jack Darrell Somerville 3 for 13 off 7.2 with 1 maiden. And Jake Misson with 1 for 14 off 8 with 2 maidens. We bowled them out for 109. Uh, we started off well, and they put on a solid fifth run, fifth wicket partnership, and then from there on, we pretty much rolled through the tail end. It was good for us. What's next? The thirds. The thirds travelled out to Bellpost Hill to play Bellpost Hill. Um, they had a bowl first. Ended up bowling Bellpost Hill out for 194 of 43.5 overs. Shree with 3 for 29 off 7. Jake Misson with 1 for 25 off 4. Special K with 1 for 17 off 9 with 3 maidens. Jake Gittins with 4 for 23 off 9 with 2 maidens. And Jackson Donnell with 1 for 16 off 4, taking his first 3's wicket. Then with the bat, Tom Stewart couldn't get off the mark, making a golden duck first ball of the innings. Trent Fergus following through with a duck. Sean Skeen and Special K putting on not too many, but enough. Ash Fergus comes out the crease, puts on a massive total of 80. Jake Gittins supported him with the 22. Shreya and Gary, 6 and 4. And then Jake Mewson come out and bat nearly through the whole day with Ash making, with Jake making 24 not out. Um, Lachlan Hodge with 1 and Jackson Donnell with 4 not out. The twos also travelled out to bowl post two. They had a bowl first. They put on seven for 112 with top scorer Jared Falvey making 35, Dan Whitworth 22, Ravi 12, and Ned Thorley putting on 30, 13. Ended up chasing our total down in a 28 overs. Liam Smith with one wicket. Ravi with one wicket and Jacob Bettison with one. Shout out to Balpo Seals, open on Tyler and Liam putting on 51. And on to the first 11, we had a bowl first over down here, a one eight oval. Matty Adamson, the English import, taking two for 32. Will Skeen, two for 34. Liam Vaughan, two for 31. And Stewie Calder, three for 14, off seven. We bowled Bobo still out for 161. Out to the bat, Jack Burns, really solid innings by him, 45, and unfortunately no one else could get going around him. Ended up being bowled out for 107 in 43 overs, so flies but not close enough at the end for the lads. And unfortunately, we are slow to start this season. So I'll start first move for the 17s, which is good for us boys. Uh, Three's had a very good win come down to the last few overs of the day. And yeah, 
Three, three start well. Two is a month. One, I'll get going. Get some wins up for Christmas. What's next, Labor? Like? A bit of test cricket. Test cricket at the moment. Australia playing West Indies. We had a bat. One, yeah, one loss. Had a bat first. We're twenty point four overs in. Usman Khawaja is on forty eight off seventy two. Minus nine off twenty six. And David Warner twenty one off twenty nine, edging it straight to De Silva as the keeper. Not great, yeah. He was. I think he had three fours that over and decided to go again and chase a wide one. And normal Warner finding the edge and really costing himself an innings there. Surprising it's not a chop on. Yeah, well, this has been shocked how they keep the gloves here. Yeah, but... Nessa and Bowen in the team. Yeah, surprise there. Cummins injury from the last test match gave, gives Bowen a go. Hazelwood was a lady that was injured, I think. General soreness they could class it as. So it could said be... Nessa might come in, and here we are next week with Nessa and Bowen in. Yeah, last week we were talking about Bowen and Nessa and how they've been going. And... I thought Richardson's might be a bit stiff. That, um, what's that? His name's a wild thing from Western Australia. That is Lance Morris. He he consistently bowls 150k at the moment, with highest reach 153, and projected to go faster. Are they going to go? So. I wonder how long it's for him to get in the squad. Well, he's already in the squad. They brought him in when Cummins out with injury, but yeah, I expected him to get picked. Yeah. But they're trust, yeah. trusting their veterans. Yeah, they are. I'm sure it's been a good experience for him to. Played the West Indies before South Africa and maybe give himself a spot in the team. Yeah. But Big scores from Marnus the other way, 204 and 104. Yeah, Steve Smith, Smith 200 and 100. Yeah. Travis Head following Gus Shaw, the 99, though. Yeah, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Well, we'll come back local. Some breaking news in the GCA. South Barman's English import originally suspended for 10 matches. And the captain, I think it was three matches, have appealed it. The English import's down to three, and the captain, I think, one at the moment. What have from the captains? Uh, apparently, the captain encouraged it, is the word from the GCA, but Ooh. interesting scenes out there. We'll roll a clip through. <laughs> Say much. I don't say it too early on today, so but no, it's a, it was a classic send off, really. Yeah, but yeah, not good. So, oh, yeah. um, and England getting a win under Pakistan. That was a late test match, putting on what was it, 947 runs in the whole test as a team. Five, five blokes made 100 in the first innings. Pope. Joe Root made 23. Yeah, I mean, if you tell me Root's making less than 30 and five blokes are making 100, then you're probably lying. Yeah. You think Pope, Brook. Best. No, I'm not best. It was Duckett, Crawley. Like Hales. Hales, I mean. Hales. The old big enough hundreds, and they're pretty young players. Yeah, they weren't. They were more ODI. Yeah. Styled 100s, not the test. I probably, I think I saw one was 111 off 104, which you'd more see in the one day format than the test format. Yeah, they're all better than a man of bowl, which was mm. amazing. Looks to be that the the bad bowl of England cricket started to pay off. Yeah, it has. Yeah, something different. I mean, there was a lot of criticism around Brendan McCollum's coaching yeah, and whether his style of coaching was good for England cricket, but. Stick to your guns and you'll find you'll find luck, it looks like, so it's paid off, so yeah. I mean, like, it's looked to pay off, but I mean it'd be prettier say a more test based century test. No, I think I think it's good that we're England are finding form. And here we are with Jack Tull. Jack Tull is Is out of the very good. Out of injury. Out of injury, out of injury. into rehab. Yeah, Join the know. podcast like yeah. probably not a cap in their big club, but I can see you. Well you've got a brace on you. Yeah. 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 Move around for him. The injured the injured fella. How's it been? Oh yeah, it's alright. It's alright. How how long's he back in the field is a real question? Um I'll be back after Christmas, so first time after Christmas. That's so. a good option. 
That's against Geelong City, that is. So, Phil Mike, mate. So, hopefully, we'll. A bit of banter. A bit of banter. No offense to them, but we should. We're coming for you. I'm coming for them. Not gonna say, I'm not going to say too much, but there's your mention, Max Decker. Stop messaging me, please. Both of mine taking six through the second innings. Yes, that probably helps. Travis had bowling stumble as well, not something you really often see, I believe. Those two wickets were his first on Australian soil. And minus the time called Pacer. Pacer. Pace so the bouncer that he bowled yeah. on him? Bouncer. Uh, <laughs> yes, Jay was going to be a Was Indian player, so interesting stuff, it looks like. Also, given... was McCarthy just made his thousand run for the calendar year? Yeah, they are. Was he? Uh, he's only got 47 now, so much. I saw 48. Let's, let's have a look again at another live score up, mate. He's on 49 of 79. Fair to bring up that half century, but a thousand runs a calendar year. Good job, Lucky. Hopefully, keep making them because we need it with one arm not finding form. No. Uh, got Marnus and Steve, though, but it would be nice if the top four could be some really form that Warren is just not finding the, finding the middle. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you pay for a bat, you might as well use the full bat, so. <laughs> um. But we'll start with that in one of the seconds. He's um, leadership band. He went to appeal it, but he's, he's withdrawn from the appeal for the protection of his family. What's everyone's thoughts on that? I had a bit of a read about it. I personally don't think he should have appealed it. Yeah. Steve, Steve, is captain. Steve Smith is captain now, which I know I like Steve Smith better than one. No offense. Yeah, Scott was going a bit through the news saying yeah, what Steve Smith is I'd say he's more of a leader than one. Yeah, I think yeah. we not much leaders in Australian figure no, a bit. Yeah. Who takes the test role? After Steve Smith and Cummins, who do you reckon would be next in line? Minus. That's it, minus. Oh he's still he's still young as an He's still young, but who calls him? That's if you can. Get a game. That's if you can stop injury. I believe he's on a personal leave from the Ears. Shields. Still. So yeah. Um, I think you are looking at Marnus, really. Unless you go to another bowler, there's no bowlers. Cambrian could be a part of the group. Yeah. I'll say part I'll, of the group. I'll listen to Marnus captain. That'd be my ideal world. Yeah. yeah. New bowlers coming through. Jai Richardson may take that spot. What's that new body spray? Lance Morris. Lance yes. Morris, you never know. Wild thing. Maybe even go back to a keeper with Alex Carey, but I wouldn't. He's old. old. He's a bit, yeah, he's old, but. He's very, like, he's good Yeah, I don't think you like him that much, do you? No, I don't. We'll have a look at Alex Carey here. Um, speculation around Peter Hams get to come in eventually. Back to back 100s in the first two games the Shield, he does have that ability to keep. He does, yeah. If Kerry doesn't perform the summer, does that look enhanced? Yes. Yes. The way he's playing in the Shield, I believe, with those hundreds, he's backed it up with three or four fifties as well. Yeah. He's probably one of the most informed batsmen in Australia right now under Shield cricket. I wouldn't be surprised if I see him in the Test squad in the next five months. No, I reckon probably Ashes really. You'll probably see him yeah. Yeah. around him, Marcus Harris. I yeah. hope he gets a game in that. On Boxing Day, I reckon he will. If Warner doesn't perform, if we go another innings against West Indies in this test, and Warner doesn't do, and well. Warner doesn't do well, I would bring in Marcus Harris on his home ground at the G for Warner and open him and Uzi. A bit like a get bowling on his own deck and take six wickets. Do we reckon Bowling will do well in the pink ball out of those? Yeah. Or is he a flat track bowling? I reckon he does. He's tall, he'll get to the bounce. The issue is though... Not a swing. It was rumoured that the pink ball after 20 overs dies a swing. Does he have to open then, or does he come on between 10 and 20? Yeah. To start open with the nest up, but who else opens? Yeah. Star, 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 Star,
My personal thing, I think bowling. I think they're both the same type of bowler. So with everyone you go. Yeah. And then you and go. Nesso yeah. and Lion, they're the band. Next set, set sorry. Or Cam Brain. I don't think Cam gets the ball. I think if. 30 over. Maybe if you're yeah, 30, 40 over 30, you can get Cam I reckon we might even say Stacey so if you get a few items on this speech. There is a good chance. Really yeah, I think I'll probably look to some part-timers. Travis Head, sorry. Not Stacey Smith. Tra I reckon Travis Head will end up on 20. Twine could end up on 50. It's a good chance. I mean, we are touring India soon. Yeah. Um, and Pakistan. And Pakistan. Well. So, subcontinental. They are known for the spinning decks. Todd Murphy. Who's the second spin on next in the line? Oli Park. Oli Park, Park the batsman from England. Yeah. Oli Park, I think it's a team at Oli Park. How do you understand? Oh, no. Um, well, so you're that? looking at Todd Murphy, but then you have Hitch yeah. Swenson. Zan is named. Zan Park. And who's Shrap Tavia Sanger? Yeah, and then you also got um, someone who nearly got kicked last year, John Holland. Who hasn't? I don't, I've never. Well, I haven't him. seen. You say the bloke that took nine wickets the other week. Maybe he's no, no, it would be him. He's been around. I'll tell you about when he's rough. He's an offie. He's a really slow offie. Nah, I wouldn't look at him. I'd be looking at Swepson, Zampa, Murphy, and Sam. Okay. Yeah. 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 But who's probably, who's, who's led that race? Nathan Ford, for sure. Oh, well, other than him, you're picking two spinners. Yeah. How many will you take, is the question. And I'll give you my throw. You'll probably take three spinners, two of them play. Nathan Lyon. Swepson had his chance last year. Last. So maybe you give Zampa or Tottenham. It's out of those, I would bring Sangin in just yet. I feel like Todd Murphy's probably just a little off playing. Yeah. So we'll see how so well he finished in the shield. I reckon you play Zampa and Lyon sweeps in your 12th man. If Zampa doesn't perform, you bring in sweeps in the soft. Yeah, probably, I'm probably sure we'll play probably 34 with the test match each team. We know how good the injury is with Vera, but there's been a lot of. I saw some news that they really don't go deep into. So there's been a lot of injuries around the squad. Can they still perform to their best? Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you look at all the options they have, they've got some quality players, but it's just. If they have a young squad, I reckon they're going to struggle with the experience if there's not that many. Uh, well, more experienced players, older players. I don't even know who's injured, I haven't seen it. No, I found there's a few just half fit players really can pick, so. Thoughts on James Anderson playing in Pakistan? How do you go? I think he, he took four week, took four wickets along with Robinson. He had five, 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 four each. Yeah. That fifth day of that test, Jack Leach in the last five minutes taking the RBW. Yeah, the yeah. RBW, yeah. But it's, that has to be probably one of the best wins for England, as you mentioned. Yeah, it will be. It's their best win in a while, for sure. For the, uh, the captain, Stokes, the coach, all the staff, man. Probably I reckon it was really um, smart of Stokes not taking the new ball as it, the old ball was swinging for the bowlers. And then yeah. I found it a bit odd how he took the new ball and gave it straight to Jack Leach. Well, what in the end? Jack Leach was wicked. So. Oh, oh, yeah. It, very good from Stokes. I see him down there in that later shit role for a while now. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Um, another international series about to kick off. Ireland, Zimbabwe, two lower ranked teams. Is that a test? Or? I'm actually not sure. I think it might be multiple. I saw sort of Bangladesh. Did they make India in an ODI? I think so. Yeah, I saw that. That was a good effort from the Bangladesh team. Yeah, but. I saw some news. Um, was that the blind cricket for a bit? Oh, yeah. Pakistan blind cricket team was denied visas for the Indian uh, tournament. The Indian the India denied the Pakistan team 
of a visa, um, which doesn't allow them to play. Do you know the reason? I think a little bit to do with politics, which we won't dive, we won't dive into, but... No, that's poor. Sure it is disappointing. It's disappointing. You have players training for years on years, waiting for a chance like this, just to get your visa denied. Yeah, I know there's been a lot of talk between India and Pakistan, between players and what, like the IPL, and India not allowing players to play in other franchises and whatnot, so hopefully they all get resolved soon. Yeah, hopefully. Because there's some Indian players in other franchises, hopefully BBL. Yeah, the BBL starting up soon. Yeah, stars, stars and Pampers will be gone. Oh, I saw Adam Zampo was allocated on Captain of the Stars. And Sanya allocated captain of the Thunder. That's very handy. But who's who we got winning the first game? Thunder. I mean, I have a Stars fan, so I'm going to Stars. Yeah, I'm a Stars fan as well. I'm a Stars fan. Never really going to one day. Let Jack Stars in here. Stars really good. Stars really good, man. Wrong wrong side of Melbourne is. Wrong side. So, nah, but it'll be interesting to see with a lot of injuries. I mean, Sam's still 50 50, not playing any shield matches. No. Richardson, Mitch Marsh now out. Yeah, I've seen that. I chucked him in the BBL suit, coach table decks like he's injured, man. I'm like, oh. Yeah, no, I, I didn't have him, and thankfully enough, he got, he got injured, so we'll, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Bit like there, boss. I will be doing a game day vlog this weekend as well, people. Well, I think it'll be a couple this week. Huh? I, might, I might chuck on in as well. I'll be micing myself up in the field in the fourth exercise, so get a bit of talk around it. I won't be going that far. We'll be doing a few interviews from a debutante after the fours game. Mark Donnell. Probably the oldest debutante of the club. Yeah, yeah, probably. No, he is not Father the son if you want. Jack and I just put back to his four. But let's he's see. He's asked to find four, so that's what he did. I think he gets it, but yeah. Good luck to all Marshall's sides this weekend. Yeah, hopefully we get some wins on the board and the board. Yeah. keep those got? championship points going. We have... St. Peter's and St. Peter's, the reigning premier. Yep, we play Saint, the ones play St. Peter's at home. The twos and fours twos are away. Fours. Threes are on the Craig Shirley. So. Number 17s have Leopold away. Not Leopold. 13s have St. Joseph's away. And 15s have. How do you know? I don't know who the 15s have. I think they're home. No, they'll be away if they play at uh, Mergies Ground. But hope get some wins to four, get some club championship points, and stay in DB2. The fours are well, sitting pretty on top of the table. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, the fours don't count the club championship. No, it would be. Would be lovely, but they are flag favourites at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna roll you, St. Peter. <laughs> St. Peter's are a good club. They, they are a good club, I'll never give them that. Respect St. Peter's, they are a good club. They've been good for many years now. Great grounds. The well, only 15s this week play East Belmont at Belmont Common. Not bad. Not a bad ground down there. Yeah. Not bad at all. They burgled your fifth game that week. Oh, that ground once the last year. Then I'm three rounds for the shed. No, that was number one. Oh, number one. Yeah. I forget if the numbers worth in there. Well, the under um, 15 have been put up in division or something. No, they've actually combined the two. Oh. They combined up this, um, the, I think like four teams in each, so. Yeah, there's a team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see this South Bar player suspended. Are you guys talking about that? We've talked about it, yeah. Yeah. He was suspended for 10 matches at first. What did he do? Um, send off the yeah, a bit of a bit of abuse towards the bat, the North Side batsmen. Two actually, one where he, the first batsman was caught behind and gave him a little shoulder bump as he walked off. And when he got the LBW right in the face of the batsman, just really proper send off stuff. Fair enough. Bit of, bit of uh, village cricket. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean that's. I a couple of the this way. A lot of runs, a lot of runs from a lot of people and a few wickets around the club, but oh, yeah. that will do us for today's today interview. We've got, we've got cricket training, so hopefully everyone else out there doesn't miss their training for this. But oh. Hopefully you'll have good luck to your games around this weekend. Hope you do well.
Make sure to follow us on all our socials. We've got TikTok, Instagram, subscribe to YouTube. Probably some Spotify. We'll get back on Spotify. Yeah, mate. We'll have some fun and keep tuned on YouTube for the game day. Want to lay by myself. See you guys then. Yeah. He's on late.